Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today on Under the Hood, we're looking at the 2016 Nissan Titan XD with the Cummins Turbo Diesel. Hot new product on the market. Now, we've done a lot of technicals on this thing already. We've done a technical on the engine, showed you how it's put together at the Cummins plant. Plus, we've test driven the truck, and you can see all of those on our Titan XD playlist. That's down below in the information section, and the link to that. On this particular episode, we're gonna take a tour of the under hood area, show you all the pertinent things, that make this truck what it is under the hood. Stay tuned. The first thing you're gonna notice under the hood of the Titan XD is that this thing has likely one of the best looking diesel engines on the market. They went to a lot of care to design the upper intake manifold to be aesthetically pleasing and of course prominently display the Cummins logo. And of course the next thing you realize is how tightly packed this engine compartment is. Though the 5 liter Cummins V8 is compact for its class, the plumbing for its turbochargers, the dual batteries and the cooling apparatus take up most of the space. Now before we get too far into the weeds, the engine's rated at 310 horsepower and 555 pound-feet of torque. There are no EPA fuel economy estimates, but you can see what we achieved in our test drive link below. The Cummins V8 for the Titan XD uses a unique two-stage turbocharger system with a small high-pressure compressor and a larger low-pressure unit. The smaller one spools up quick for low RPM boost, the larger one coming on later. A valve between them manages the boost flow to keep it constant regardless of conditions. It is a bit more exotic than most of the systems found in full-size trucks on the market today. The goal, of course, to reduce or eliminate turbo lag. In my own test drives, my seat of the pants tells me that it works, and you can hear them quite well, especially on deceleration. After the turbos, boosted air then flows up front to a large air-to-air -air intercooler mounted ahead of the radiator. This is one of the reasons the Titan XD has such a large and upright nose compared to the standard Titan half-ton. After the air is cooled, it heads back up to the upper intake chamber and then down into the engine. Like most diesels today, the 5-liter Cummins V8 uses a high-pressure common rail injection system with electronically fired injectors. The fuel pump is mounted out of sight along with the turbochargers down in the engine's valley and driven by the timing chain. As diesel emissions are a hot topic today, it's worth noting that this engine also features a cooled exhaust gas recirculation, or CEGR, system that can easily be seen here but should never be touched when hot. It captures a small percentage of exhaust, cools it, then reintroduces it into the intake track to be reburned, reducing overall emissions. The heads are made out of aluminum with dual overhead cams and four valves per cylinder with a finished out design looking much like a high performance gasoline engine. Again, the Cummins guys have a thing about making their motors look good. Under them is a compacted graphite iron block which is lighter than a standard cast iron block and stronger to boot. The blocks are actually cast in Brazil before they make their way up to Columbus, Indiana at the Cummins plant where these engines are assembled. Looking around under the hood, you can see that most major service points are easily accessible even though it's pretty snug under here. The fuel filter is right up on top of the engine as is the oil filler and the dipstick. The oil filter is located down under the front of the engine. Maintenance items like the windshield washer fluid and the main fuse boxes are on the passenger side up near the firewall mounted high and somewhat easy to reach. You'll find the engine ECU up there as well. The brake fluid reservoir is up where you'd expect it, high on the driver's side firewall. Of note, the ABS system here uses a high pressure nitrogen canister for additional pressure demands during its duty cycles, and like most diesels, vacuum is provided by an engine driven pump. The accessory drive is a single belt design driving the water pump, alternator, AC compressor and the power steering pump. And looking back forward, the Titan XD uses an engine driven cooling fan managed by a clutch instead of an electric fan. It makes very little noise, I've noticed. Lastly, if you're looking to refuel the diesel exhaust fluid as I had to, you'll do this at the fuel filler neck. The fluid known as DEF is injected into the exhaust system to neutralize the harmful nitrogen oxides, and it has to be kept full or the computer will shut down the engine to idle only until it is.
Well, folks, there you have it for our underhood tour, the 2016 Nissan Titan XD with the Cummins turbo diesel. Now, as I said, we've test driven this truck as well as the fact that we've done other technical features on this engine. You can see all of that by clicking on the link down below in the information section. That's our playlist for this truck. We've just done a lot of video on this for some reason. Also, click on the link right here on our screen and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We test drive one, sometimes two vehicles every week. Plus, we have a new video like this almost every day. There's always something new, so stay tuned.